People always ask themselves, what makes a good film? Is it cinematography? A good story? Relatable characters? What about style? Maybe it takes one man, a tour de force, just one genius at the helm. I still remember that day in 1992. I was about 10 when they showed The Ghosts of Raccoon Island at my local theater. I was just blown away. I had to stay until the end of the credits to see who made this thing of genius. And there it was, the name that started it all. Gustav Octavius Dentures. That was the beginning of the legend. People started to call him Goad, the god of indie cinema. After Raccoon Island, the guy just kept going. He put out Cannabis Cannibals, Case of the Munchies. After that, you know the classics. Brunch Spot, Red and Black, Death Tube, list goes on and on. He was becoming a legend, winning award after award. That was until Gustav just kind of went off on like this legendary Twitter rant. After that, all of his producers cut him off. Then celebrities got involved. Beyonce called him out at some awards show. Kanye even tried to steal his award at the Oscars. After that, he disappeared. No one had heard from him in years, but there were rumors that he was making a comeback. So we're here to take you behind the scenes of Goad's claim back to fame. Join us in seeing if there really is a second coming. of genius. This movie is kind of an avant-garde take on the old cops and robbers genre, actually. Well, it's more complicated than that. It's kind of a special agency movie. We got, we got the Sheep CIA and we got the Wolf KGB. And, well, there's a wolf in sheep's clothing, I guess you might say. And one of the wolf operatives has infiltrated the Sheep CIA. And they don't know who it is. The sheeps are going mad, and one young sheepling has to discover that his partner is not all that he seems. <laughs> all right, all right. Can you move, move back, move back. Okay, crouch down, crouch down a little. Don't, no knees on, no knees. On. Okay, crouch down. Okay, I want your arms like a teapot, like a, like well, the thing you drink tea from. Perfect. Where are the costumes? Where are the costumes? When somebody calls me Goad, they're right. Um, you can even mispronounce it as God if you want. I mean, essentially it's the same thing. <laughs> this is what we got? He looks beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, I mean, it's commentary because I can never really separate myself from the social justice scene, you know? I'm very interested currently in issues of feminism, and this movie tackles, dives really deep into the gender wage equality gap, and as well as access to women's health services. Okay, I want you to, I, I'm, not feeling, I'm not feeling the teapot. I need, I need a little more, handle a little more spout. Okay, um, now make your head look more like a sheep. Your head. Your head. Your, your head. Yeah. What? I'm loving this emotion. This is wonderful. How am I gonna make my head look more like a sheep? I love this. Now put this into your put this into your work. What what are you doing? What? Your union! You can't do this! Sometimes it's hard to work with actors because, well, they let their egos get in the way of the of the the message behind the work and you know, I, I just can't, I can't fault them for that because it's so hard to have such a pure and present vision as my own. Well, I mean, uh, you know, Gustav's a real personality. I, uh, you know, I know his films. But what's this? We're going we're, we're gonna to talk about this again? This shit. Was, was this made? Was this made by children?
This is, this is cotton balls on his shirt. This is not a sheep costume. Unbelievable. They got me wearing a shirt with cotton balls on it. I was going to be able to finally tell my friends that I was in something that wasn't porn. Sometimes, you know, you want something done right. You got to do it yourself. Okay. This is art in the making. I'm going for my 10th nomination for best screenplay. They won't know that I didn't write it down beforehand. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hey, yeah, you uh, need a permit to shoot in Central Park. Permit? You know yeah. Do you know who I am? Doesn't matter who you are, son. You need a permit to shoot in this location. I am Goad. Doesn't matter. You still need a permit. You got a permit? It's right in here. I don't think the world will ever be ready for me. Can I have the land with rice? 